Say, uh, say we had a, a little problem here. <coughs> we had a and an event. <coughs> we knew some information about the tickets at this event and the prices. <coughs> it was ten adult tickets. And five children's tickets. And that was going to cost $60 altogether. About 10 adult and five children. And we know that's $60. <coughs> also, we know six adult and eight children's tickets uh, cost $51. Eight, thank you. Six adult and eight children's tickets, okay. All right, well, <clears throat> the question is then, can we figure out how much does each kind of ticket cost? Well, we could take a guess, plug in some numbers, and do it that way. But <clears throat> let's uh, maybe look at it a little different way here and talk about how this at least sets up and maybe solve it, uh, solve it in a minute or two. But anyway, one way we can <clears throat> set, set this up is um, uh, set up some equations here. We know that the adult ticket has a price and the children's ticket has a price, call it X and Y. Okay, well, <clears throat> this first sentence here, if I put that in, down into an equation, letting X be the adult price and Y be the children's price, well, if I bought 10 adult tickets, that's going to be 10 times X, right? For the price of them, 10 times whatever the price is. And if I buy uh, five children's tickets, Y being the price of the ch children's ticket, that would be five times y, right? Multiply the price times the number we get. <clears throat> well, if we add those two together, doesn't that equal the, the total cost there of 60? So we set up a nice, neat little equation. Well, don't we have another one here? <clears throat> and that would be what? What would the uh, equation there be? 6x plus 8y equals 51. Yeah, we still have the same x and y. Same adult price, same children's ticket price. So we still have the X and Y. We just have different numbers there to go with them. Okay. Well, <clears throat> you know, the reason I bring this little problem up here is, is to show you an example of what we, uh, what we call a system of equations <clears throat> and how we can use systems in uh, certain word problems like this. <clears throat> Yeah, a system of equations is just like we have here. You've got two equations, in this case two variables and two equations. So you have multiple equations. That's, that's what basically a system is, when, when you have multiple equations that are related. Now these, of course, are related because it's the same x and y value, <coughs> and that's, uh, that's what we're going to talk about next. But that is uh, an example there of how, how we can utilize a system here. Now, what we're going to try to talk about next is how we solve those. Because like I said, we could plug in an X and a Y and try it because the thing of it is the X and the Y that we try has to work in both of them. It can't just work in one of them, it has to work in both of them, right? Because we've got to have the same ticket price there. So we've got to find an X and a Y that works in both of these and that's called the solution and uh, that's what we're going to talk about next. So anyway, just wanted to kind of introduce systems this way and show you how we're going to use it in just a minute. <clears throat> now, all right, so save this one. 
hold on to that thought, and we'll come back to it. We've got to do some other stuff first, but we'll solve it here in just a moment. Okay? All right. Back to that. Okay, so let's talk about uh, another system or two before we get get going on that one, solving that one. Um, 2x plus y equals negative 6, x plus 3y equals 2. All right, here's here's another system. All right, and... What we just talked about is the solution to this system has to do what? It has to work in both. A solution, let's say. So a solution to this system or any system has to satisfy both equations. Or all the equations for our systems. We won't talk about them here in this course, but there are systems where you have more than two equations, but <clears throat> in any case your your solution has to work in both equations and it you know it's it's a two part equation that's kind of why we're talking about it now right after talking about graphing is because these are x y equations or two variable equations, and so you do need a two part to the uh, solution an x and a y but uh you do need it to satisfy both equations. For example, let's uh, verify here that negative 4, 2 is a solution. And so how would I verify it, make sure it is? Just plug it in. <clears throat> plug in the x to be negative 4, y to be 2, right? See if it works in both. 2 times negative 4 plus... 2 equals negative 6. Is that true? Yes. Negative 8 plus 2 is this side. That's negative 6 equals negative 6. Okay, but is that enough sufficient to say it's a solution? No. You need a, another one to work. You need this one to work also with negative 4, 2. Negative 4 for x there and positive 2 for the y there. Negative 4 plus 6, does that equal 2? Or done. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let me ask you this then. Same system is negative uh, three zero a solution? Is that a solution? First one it is two. If I plug it into the first one, two times negative three plus zero equals negative 6. You're saying that's right? Yeah, negative 6 plus 0. Sure enough. But is that enough to say it's a solution though? No. It's got to work in both. So does it work in the second one? Negative 3 plus 3 times 0. Plugging in those for x and y. Does that equal 2? Uh, no. It's got to work in both. So is negative 3 a solution? No. No, it's not. It's got to work in both, you see. All right? So, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that would work in the first equation. There's a lot of things that would work in the second equation. But there's usually, for the ones we're doing, there's only one that's <coughs> going to work in both of them. And, and I'll talk more about that here in just a second. But um, there's just one solution or one x comma y pair that works in both of them. But anyway... Um, the trick then is going to be to figure out, you know, I, I, I gave us some to check here, but that's not always going to be the case, especially, you know, like on our ticket problem there. How are we going to figure that one out? Since we don't have the numbers to check, well, there's actually two methods to doing this, 